everyone, my name is Claire and today we are doing a huge yarn haul, so please stick around. Hi friends, my name is Claire and this is her channel, Woodshed Theory. Here I make content about what it is like to live as an adult on the autism spectrum and whatever else feels good to me, like yarn. So if that sounds good to you, or if you're feeling particularly gracious today, and I hope that you are, please go ahead and click the, the subscribe button. button. Ring, Ring the, the bell. bell. Oh, we almost forgot to mention that I put out videos three times a week. Something happened. Something happened. So, um, I, I, I'm like fumbling She's a my excited words. excited today. I'm fumbling my words because I came to to Pennsylvania with one half of a skein of yarn, and I'm currently sitting with 67 skeins of yarn. <laughs> so uh, I'd love to share it with you and show you all the fun stuff that I got and tell you where I bought it and just share how amazing it is and then I'll go over how much it all costs and we can enjoy it together. So if you are a yarn person, you have come to the right place. So the first place that I went to buy yarn, I had never been before. It's more of a local or at least East Coast place East called Coast. Ocean State Job. Job Lots. And they are kind of like a big lots situation mixed with a Walmart. They kind of have a little bit of everything mm -hmm. and they sell things that are being discontinued from companies or extra stock. And my mom let me know that they have yarn. And I just figured that they would have maybe a few skeins of like loop yarn because that's usually what people have on sale. Mm -hmm. But they actually had a lot of yarn. They had a lot of yarn. I keep thinking maybe we should go back. But I don't think I need any more. No but I'm, I'm just fe I feel so gonna, I'm on a yarn gonna, high. You're need another suitcase. I'm on a yarn high, guys. I had a great day. That's all I have to say. So the first place we went was Ocean State Job Lot, and I got three skeins of yarn there. Here are two of them. One of them's already being made into a present, but this is the Lion Brand touch of cashmere yarn, which they recently discontinued. This is in the color Nightshade. So it's like a deep plum purple. And this is 90% acrylic, 10% cashmere. It's so soft. <laughs> and then this one is in a different wrapper, but it's the same yarn and it's called Basil. And I believe that these were 100 grams 219 yards. It's a four weight. Uh, they feel amazing. And I think originally they retailed for around $10.99. But at this store, they were $6.99, which I thought, okay, still a little more expensive. I mean, it's a luxury-ish kind of yarn from Lion Brand. I didn't want to maybe pay that much. But then I saw the sign. I opened up my eyes and saw the sign. They were selling this. If you bought three balls for $21, you got a coupon to the store for $21. So... You didn't even have to think about that. No, I didn't have to think mm -hmm. about it. No. And it feel like it's just so beautiful and Basically, if you think about it, it's like a 50% off coupon, right? Because you're getting $20 more of yarn down the line, which I did, and I'll show you later. So I had the three balls of the Touch of Cashmere. Mm -hmm. I do want to go back, though, because that store had Touch of Angora. <gasps> hmm. The next place we went was Joann's because I needed to get some wool ease for a project. And I already made the project, but I do have an extra skein left. Full ease in forest green. And fun fact, wool ease at Joann's is one or two dollars cheaper in Pennsylvania than it is in California. And it was 20% off. So I believe I got these for about four dollars each. 
Woolies is one of my favorites because it's got that the warmth of wool, but you can still wash it because it's mostly acrylic. The next place we went... <laughs> we ran a lot of errands yesterday. Uh, the next place we went was the Dollar Tree, and I wanted to see if the local Dollar Tree here had yarn, because some places in California sell yarn at the Dollar Tree, but not all of them. I wanted to see if they had anything different. They had some yarn, most of it was picked over, but they did have the new Premier just yarn in tweed and i got two balls of course they were a dollar each one is in the color denim tweed the other is in the color charcoal tweed so these are kind of like a heathered i wouldn't necessarily call it a tweed it looks more heathered to me than tweed don't you think because tweed well, usually has once, the specs maybe once in it. you use it it'll look a little bit different it'll work up differently mm -hmm. Um, but I bought this because my number one video on YouTube is my Dollar Tree Premier Just Chenille yarn. And everyone really liked that review, so I thought maybe I could do a review on these. Come up with some projects. So I got those. It was a dollar for 120 yards each, 100% acrylic. Okay, we just finished the first day of yarn. We went to an estate sale today and we knew from the pictures that they had some yarn. They said 17 tubs. There was not 17 tubs, but there was several tubs of, yeah, yarn. of yarn. They also said it was going to be three for a dollar and then when we got there, it was four for a dollar. And I just wanna say, I don't remember much. My eyes glazed over. I lost her when we went in the building. I found some bags. I don't know where the bags came from. The floor? I don't know. Started filling the bags. Didn't even know how much I bought. Was just putting in colors that I thought looked like they go together. I don't, it was all acrylic, but you'll, you'll see. So I came home. I spent $12 on 50 balls of yarn. And now I'll show you what we got. We've got five skeins of Red Heart Classic in the color white. Always can use white, right? Mm. Perfect. Five. A dollar twenty-five. This are a few different brands. This is white in a brand called Sayel. And I'm guessing they don't make this anymore. There's a cat. Uh, let's see. This was purchased at Kmart for 97 cents originally. Yeah. Oh, this is off-white. You can't really tell because this is so old it's off-white now. They don't really give any instructions on how much yarn. They just say it's 100, 100 grams, which is probably like 250 yards. And then this one might be my only care on. Um, but this one is in white as well. And this is so much softer than the Red Heart. Feel how much softer that is. That, that has like a sparkle to it. Too. Yeah, it's like a, has a sparkle. Um, oh. Oh, it's 80% acrylic, 20% nylon. My favorite one so far though is this label because not only is there a blanket on it, there's also that majestic cat. No wonder she never used it. Okay, so that's eight balls of white there was more actually when we when we got there i found this huge tub of yarn and there were like brand new bags of you know they sell like yarn in a five pack mm -hmm. like brand new bags of white i started looking through it and this girl was like excuse me those are already ours but there's more yarn over there so it's kind of a little bit salty that they got first pick because we tried to get there early and we had to wait an hour and a half to get in but I still got stuff so I'm not mm -hmm. mad. Then they had some neutrals which I don't own any acrylic neutrals so I thought it would be good to get. This is Red Heart. This is just Red Heart. A Wintuck product and it was purchased at Woolworth for $1.50 in the color Bisque. Is there any Woolworths open now? No. But right? There's no when Woolworths. When did Woolworths close? We'll have to look that up. 72. <laughs> but I guess what this shows is that acrylic will stay good forever. Yeah. 
because it feels just like Red Heart Super Saver now. Oh my, f look at this. It's 100% virgin Orlin acrylic fiber. 100% <laughs> plastic. Virgin plastic. What the heck is virgin plastic? I don't know. Straight from the ground. Then I got three brown ones. This was purchased at Boscov's. And it's a Red Heart Classic. This was purchased at a drugstore. Ryan Derrick. For $1.59. And it's also in the color coffee, coffee, and then this is a very similar brown. I probably thought it was the same, which is why I picked it up. It is another Sayel. There were some colors I normally would not have picked up, but because they had them in big quantities, I just figured I could make a bigger project with them. Oh, ah! <laughs> this is Red Heart Classic, and it is in the color Pink Lightning. And there's no price tag on these, but she had six of them. So I just figured I could make like a cardigan or something with six of them. Somebody will wear it. Maybe not me. I just wanted it, okay? I don't have a plan. We're not even close to done yet, people. No, we're not. I had a great day. How'd your, how'd your day go? Three green. Oh, these are Fruit of the Loom yarn. Unconditionally guaranteed. Do you think if we got in touch with them now, they'd <laughs> give us a... I've never seen Fruit of the Loom yarn until today. 99 cents. Here's what I'm wondering. All okay. of the you yarn... you know how old this is? There's not a scan code on it. It's in the... this. The two Fruit of the Loons are in the color Tartan, and there's no code on it. And then this is Patty Green from Red Heart. Oh, I have one more green. It's a Red Heart Super Saver, which she didn't have much of, and also had, it does have a scan barcode on it, so this is a newer one. So Red Heart Super Saver in Hunter Green. So four skeins of green. Oh, sorry, dark green. Did I say green? Just meant dark green. I'm gonna pick up the light green. Well, here's two of these. Pale green. Red Heart Super Saver in Sport, which is probably supposed to be a number three. That's usually a sport weight, it's like a number three, but it looks like a four. It looks like a four. And the color, yeah, it's pale green. Maybe at one time it was a paler green than it is now. <laughs> right now it looks more like a teal. All right, and this one has a scan on it too, so it can't be that old. This is a uh, Red Heart, and I believe even though some of them look different, they're different dye lots. I believe these are all mist green. So I got four of those. Oh, sorry, did I, did you think we were done with the green? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> did, there were three more, and I think these are all one-offs. Um, this is the Sale brand again in baby green. This is, I think there's only one of this brand as well. Natura. Yeah, there's not any Natura in mint, 77 cents. And what's that one? This is Lee Ward's, and no barcode on that either. That's an old, look at that. That's, no, that's an old one. That's at least, that's maybe early 70s, late 60s maybe? 70s. 70s. This one's called Pastel Green. I, I just thought, ugh, I don't, like, I just thought it was cool that it was all vintage yarn and that I could give it a new home and a new life. Is it scarfable? It's 100% virgin acrylic. To go with that, I got some more Red Heart. Oh, wait, that's not true. These two are Red Heart. I thought they were all the same, but this one has a little pink in it. This is a color lullaby, which just screams like 80s baby blanket to me. That's the color Lullaby, so there were two of those. And then I thought that this was the same, but it's not. It's by a brand called Wondura, and I believe it's from the same manufacturer as Red Heart, but older. And this one's also called Lullaby, so they're supposed to be the same color. This one has pink. This one has a little pink in it, but it's so light you probably wouldn't notice, so... It's really funny because they had uh, they had orange and purple, and I I felt like I grabbed those, but I guess that I didn't because 
I, they're not in here. So, I, I, again, I, I was just like burrowing through hundreds of balls of yarn trying to pick out what I wanted when there's like a ton of other people around me. So, uh, this is Super Saver. Color is light blue. Look at that haircut. Didn't we all have that haircut? Uh, this one is by Wintuck. And from what I see, some of the earlier Super Savers say they're by Wintuck. And then maybe they sold it to Clark and whatever. I'm not sure. This one is in another one in baby blue. So I thought it'd be nice like I could put the blues together and they're, they're a little bit different, but they might look nice like an ombre together. That one's aqua. Okay, this one is another one from Sale, which is the Kmart brand, $1.59 in aqua. I did not stop smiling all day. You should have seen me walk out of this no. estate sale with three huge garbage bags like of yarn. This one is another one that I, I, don't, I don't think I'd normally get this color, but they had, she had six of them. And it's a color called Parakeet. So I thought that that would be a cute one to do a bigger yeah, project in. dye a lot too. Smells like... Old lady. Old lady. <laughs> Perfect. My, my favorite smell. So six of those, just a few more of these. So then this is the only one other than the other variegated lullaby. They had a red heart baby Econo in the color Sweet Dreams. And it's probably a number three. And it's pink and purple and white, different shades of purple. And it has just a little bit of sparkle in it. I and I thought I could like I could mix that with a bunch of different things. I thought I got a pink to match it. This is in the color pink. Red Heart Super Saver in pink. And then this is this is really old. Look at that. This is Jack Frost yarn in ice pink. Check out this label. Oh look that's Dad's blanket. Yeah, it is. No way. <laughs> Same thing. Oh we should make one. Look at that. Same thing. My father has this blanket crocheted. It was a wedding present. And he's always had it. So my father has had this blanket since before I was born in that colorway with the browns. How crazy is that? And then this one, I don't know what that's, that's like some rust on it, I think. This one is Red Heart Super Saver. No, Red Heart Super Sport in the color pale yellow. A lot of these I just thought could go towards making baby blankets because a lot of them are like the pale baby colors. Maybe that's why she had 800 balls of yarn, I don't know. She didn't finish a lot of projects. She was a starter, a yarn hoarder, and a, and a blessing starter. to me. And a craft starter. Yeah. She had so, uh, there was so much craft stuff. It was great. I couldn't even think. I couldn't even breathe. I was just like, I don't, again, I don't even know where the bags came from. The floor, somewhere. I was like... First, I started tilting other, other boxes and filling those boxes. Too small. I did that twice. Then I started a bag. Too small. Then I found these big bags. Where they, I don't know where they came from. And I don't know when they came out with Super Sport, but it was new when she bought it. The last three are more pastel colors. So I'm thinking like all of these colors look nice together, you know? Like all of yeah, those look do. nice together so I could use them together. Um, but the last colors are like more salmon-y colors. This one is Country Peach by Prestige Wintuck Hand Knitting Yarn. And it's Orlan Acrylic, 119. Pres that's wow, expensive. Where's that from? Is there a scan? No. Nope. So that's definitely from, that's probably from the 60s. And then this is, I think these are both the same, which mm -hmm. is why I got it, but it's, uh, oh, it's more of the Natura Dewpoint Acrylic and Peach. So I've got these. <sighs> you had a good day. I was like high on my own supply. Like I, I hugged the yarn as I, as we drove home. You did. When I got home, I spun around with bags. But then she came in and laid them all out. Laid them all out because I wanted to see them. The and, and just like a good autistic kid, put them with, you know, sorted them into their colors like they belong. So I could really process. But wait, wait. there's more. Uh, last place that we went was back to 
Ocean State job lots because if you watched in the beginning, I bought those three balls of cashmere yarn, which I normally wouldn't buy, but I thought, what a great Christmas present. Like if you give somebody something with cashmere in it, like it's normally super expensive to buy anything cashmere anyway, so it might just be like a special thing to give someone. I got that $21 coupon for that. So I went to another Ocean State job lots and used my coupon. I ended up spending over the $21. I ended up having to spend $2.30 more cents. Darn it. She forgot about the tax. I forgot about the tax. So the first thing was they had Wool Ease Super Bulky 6 Roving on sale from $2.99 to $1.99. So I got six balls of In the Colorway. Taffy Tire, and it's just the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pastel rainbow. It's beautiful. I, ha I, I had to get it, and it's, it's the 20% wool. It's like a unicorn wool. rainbow. It, yeah, it's like it's a beautiful. unicorn rainbow, like cotton candy. And I thought that I could make something for one of my friend's girls or something. Oh, I was so excited. They had six, so I bought six. They had so many colors. But I can't resist a rainbow. Like, I see a rainbow, I buy a rainbow. So I got six of those. Six of those. And that's all covered by my coupon, by the way. They had a few colorways of this one, which I really liked. It's Lion Brand, Just My Stripe, in the color Cherry. These are pretty small, so they were $1.99 regular price, or at price to there. And it's 85 grams, so 177 yards. So you can make a smaller project with that. Final yarn that I got is something I've never used before. It's more Lion Brand. I think the lesson here is if you live near an Ocean State job lot, do not walk, run. <laughs> this is really, really pretty. I've never used anything like this before. It's the Winter Nights yarn. And I got two of these, $3.99 each. Look at it, it's got, it's shimmery and fuzzy and has little sequins out, throughout it. Are they on sale for $1.99? No, this was, these were $3.99 I splurged, or sorry, they're $2.99, $3. And this color is called Whisper Fection. Whisper Fection. I'm really excited to use that one. Like I just thought about like a little cowl, like yeah. like a scarf or something would be really pretty. pretty. When I was in Ocean State last week, I saw the yarn and I saw yarn like this and I thought you wouldn't like it because it was too colorful. Well, that shows how well you that know me. It shows how wrong I am with the knitting. Crochet. Crochet. Mom. Poor man's knitting. <laughs> Okay, well, so I've spent about, for all of this, it's 67 skeins of yarn. I spent about $45. It works mm -hmm. out to about 67 cents a skein. Mm -hmm. No brainer. I'm probably just going to lie in it to go to sleep tonight. Well, I hope that you enjoyed it. Which was your favorite color? What's People, your favorite? I, I think it's this one. The um, taffy tire. I just love pastel rainbow. I can't help myself. Um, if you've been knitting and crocheting for decades, I would love to know if these are some brands that you used. Right? Mm -hmm. Are these brands that you heard of? Like I. Sayel or Nature, whatever. I I'd love to hear from you to, to know, like, did that bring up any memories for you? Because they're not things I've seen before, but I love buying vintage, uh, vintage things and, and exploring that and seeing how much people paid in the past. That's my 67 ball yarn haul. haul. <laughs> Have a wonderful day and I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye. Heaven, I'm in heaven.
you're weird. 